So for instance, if I was going to do u plus v, basically, ladies and gentlemen, the best thing that I would do is identify, if here's my vector u, I'd say this is u1, that's u2, v1, v2. Does everybody follow me? So therefore, in vector addition, all I'm simply doing is my new vector, u plus v, is equal to 2 plus 4, comma, negative 1, oops, negative 1 plus 3, per my formula that I wrote over there, right? u1 plus v1 and u2 plus v2. Does everybody follow me? OK. So therefore, my u plus v is going to be 6, comma, 2. All right, so now the next thing I asked you guys to do was to simply graph this. So if I was going to graph my vector u, graph your vector u would look like this, 1, 2, negative 1. Does everybody agree with me, vector u? OK. Um, let's do v in another color. Let's use blue. So v is going to be in blue, which would be 4, 4, 3. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3. Does everybody feel pretty comfortable with how I graphed v? OK. So then let's use the resultant vector in red. And that's going to be u plus v, which is 6 comma 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 2. Now, what I want you guys to kind of ooh, what I want you guys to kind of understand is, first of all, does this u plus v kind of look like the combination of these two vectors? And yes. And actually, if you want to go ahead and graph them, you can do that by taking, this is what we call tail to end. So I have the tail of one vector goes to the head, um, goes from the head of the other vector. Do you guys see how they kind of create what, the, what we call like the parallelogram? OK, so graphing. So in reality, if you want to graph this, or if you want to make sure that you did it correctly, when you're doing addition, all you simply do is graph one vector. And if you can take the other graph vector, just go from the last point, and that will confirm your endpoint of your resultant vector. OK? So you can use the parallelogram approach to help you graph, um, as well as just applying the math. I mean, the math wasn't that hard. And then just draw your resultant vector. But you guys should know, I might ask you, you know, is this an example of a resultant vector? Or Oliver, could you graph the resultant vector? You should know how to graph those, OK? Or at least how to use the table and head method. 